Welcome to SIPS EcoPanel's presentation on introducing SIPS EcoPanels. First, a brief history of SIPS panels. The first SIP houses were built in America in the 1930s by the world famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright. One of these houses, built in 1937, is still used by the University of Wisconsin as a daycare centre, proving that although this was an early form of technology, they had longevity even then. Insulation was first introduced by Alan Dow in 1952. He was a member of the Dow family who owned Dow Chemicals, which is now Allen's Corners insulation giants. Although it's been around in America for a long time, over 50 million square feet of SIPs were produced in the US in 2008, and market share in the United States has doubled in the last four years, proving that it's a well-established but also a growing industry in America. In terms of the UK market, it was first introduced to the UK in the 1980s, and the BRE did an information paper in 2004 that estimated that over 3,000 SIPs houses have been built in the UK. Given the massive expansion of the uh, market in SIPs in the last eight years or so, shown by the establishment of the UK SIPs Association, this figure is almost certainly a gross underestimate. The UK SIPs Association is trying to establish a figure at the moment, and this information will be on our website when ready. Interest panel business is not just growing in the UK either, it's also grown in Europe in the past two years by 82%. So what are SIPs? Well, SIPs itself is an acronym standing for Structural Insulated Panels. In terms of our standard 119 external wall panel, this means two layers of 11mm OSB, sandwiching a layer of 97mm EPS, expanded polystyrene. The OSB is essentially an engineered form of chipboard, and the EPS is an insulate. A little bit more about the EPS. Expanded polystyrene is made of 98% air. The remainder is a byproduct from the petroleum industry. Our EPS is actually grey because it's treated with carbon, which makes it an even better insulate. It contains no CFCs. It's 100% recyclable, and in fact, any offcuts that we have at our factory, we send back to our manufacturer. We then turn it back into premium grey EPS. It has an ozone depletion rating of zero global warming potential safe, so it ticks all the environmental boxes on that front. Building out of polystyrene, how can that work? Well, it's very similar to a steel ivy, where the faces of the OSB faces of the SIP panel provide the same function as the flanges of the ivy, taking the main loads down to the floor. The core of the SIPS panel, the EPS, then ties these two sides together, again very similar to the web of the steel ivy. The OSB wouldn't be able to hold a house up on its own, nor would the EPS. It requires both elements in order to do this. Just a little diagram to show you how SIP houses are put together, again very similar to timber frame construction. First of all, a locator sole plate is put down. This is around 120mm wide, but not very deep. This just gives you the location of the walls. The second sole plate is then put on top of this. This will be narrower than the first, but deeper. The SIP frame can then slot down on top of this because the bottom of it is routed out, much like the side shown there. It can then be screwed through the OSB into that second sole plate. A second SIP frame is then laid on top. And you'll note that this one has an insulated spline fixed to it. This spline will then just notch into the opening on the first frame, which means that you'll then be able to screw through two layers of OSB to provide a very strong fixing. Top plates will then be applied similar to the bottom plates, which will be overlapped at the joints again to improve that fixing. This is just a 3D exploded view of a SIPS house, just pulling out a few details. So you'll note there the ridge beam. This takes the roof SIP roof panels which span from the external walls up to this ridge beam. 
spandrel panels will be made out of SIPs. The dormer, as you see there, all the external walls will be made out of SIPs. Internally, we'll just have timber frame partitions because you don't need the level of insulation of structure provided by a SIP wall. And joist wise, you can have what you want. Could be standard joists, could be metal web joists, could be I beams. Again, no problem. This is just a, a view of the inside face of a, of a SIP panel. On the left hand side there you've got the SIP panel which is on the outside. And then on the right the inside face we fix a vapour membrane. We'll then fix 15 to 25 mil battens at 600 sensors just to provide you with a service cavity for your pipe works and electric to go through. And then plasterboard is fixed on top of these battens. These are a few technical details, just to pull out a couple of uh, interesting points for you. This is a 3D isometric view of the outside of the SIP frame. You'll see the brickwork on the outside skin, a breather membrane on the outside of the SIPs. You'll see wall ties in there to tie in the brickwork. A lot of these details are very similar to that which you find with timber frame construction. It may be that you're not looking for a brickwork outer skin, in which case on the left hand side there you can see the typical detail for using weatherboarding, where they'd be fixed to a batten fixed to the SIP. That batten in the case of weatherboarding would need to be a minimum of 18mm. So again a very thick overall external wall thickness giving you good U values. On the right hand side you've got render on a back metal lard, again on battens onto the SIP. In this case you'd require a 25mm batten. This is a view of how the SIP roof panel works with the SIP's external wall panel. You'll see the SIP roof panel is a bit thicker there. That's screwed through an angled fillet which is put on top of the SIP wall panel. This again provides a very strong fixing. You have two layers of battens on the roof, counter battens and then your normal tiling battens. In terms of ease details you can have whatever you want there, whether that's a box socket or an open ease, again not a problem. All these details are taken from our construction manual which is free to download from our website. Here are a few examples of some finished SIP panels. You'll see a variety of different finishes, different roof styles in here. For the bottom left picture and the middle picture, very traditional looking buildings. For the bottom middle and the top middle pictures, more contemporary looking buildings. In the top right there you'll see a garden lodge, garden studio. Again, these are very popular features. A lot of people building these out of SIPs nowadays. And on the left hand side there, you see more of a commercial building. So again, SIP suitable for all uses. A few of the benefits of using SIP panels. Low U values. With our standard 119 panel, you get a 0.22 U value. With our intermediate 144 panels, you get a 0.19 U value. And with our thicker roof panels used with wall panels, you can achieve a 0.14 U value. So again, thin external wall thicknesses, very good U values. You also get high levels of air tightness. This is something the government are very focused on at the moment. And compared to the national average of around about 10, our panels you'd expect to get the overall construction between a 2 and a 4. And of course you can achieve lower than this by good detailing as well. SIPs are inherently an airtight form of construction though, keeping in all the warm air that you've produced. Also, by not having studs in the external wall and having insulation continuous throughout, it means you have stable internal wall temperatures, missing out on the cold spots, which again are something the government are trying to cut out at the moment. Another major benefit of using SIPs is the increased usable roof space you get from using SIPs as your roof panels. In this photograph here, you'll see there are no horizontal ties, no upstands. All of the Velux roof light openings are pre-cut and this increased roof space can then be used for vaulted ceilings, room in the roof or just storage. But that comes as standard by using SIPs as your roof panels. A few more of the benefits then. The insulation is pre-installed. Not only does this mean you get better quality insulation, continuous insulation, 
uh, that isn't going to sag between studs or anything like that. It also saves you costs and times on coming back and supplying and fitting insulation at a later date. This also saves you time on your erection. A typical 1800 square foot house would be erected within around two weeks including the roof. And not only does this save you, make you savings on things like skip hire, scaffolding, toilet hire, it will also make you savings on your overall financing costs as well. And it means you can be working inside and outside at the same time on a much quicker time frame. As with any modern method of construction, uh, you should end up with reduced waste on site. In an ideal world, you will have designed exactly what you want. It will get made in a factory and put together very quickly. If you do require alterations on site, this isn't a problem with SIPs. SIPs are very flexible. This can be done. They're also very strong. This means you can get away with large areas of glazing, as you saw in the previous photos. And they're also suitable for earthquake areas. Whilst this isn't so much of a benefit in the UK, it does show that they're a very strong form of construction. They have been shown to stand up better than timber frame in earthquakes. Another major benefit of SIPs is they can be cut to suit any size. There's not been a time when we've said to a customer we can't achieve this. It may be that we have to introduce a little bit of extra structure here and there, but they are very flexible and they can be suit, drawn to suit the spoke designs. The benefit of us doing the full planning drawing, uh, panel drawings and structure calculations means that a large part of the building regulations have done already. What can SIPs be used for? Well, they're perfect for new builds, be it residential or commercial as you saw earlier on. Excellent with a blank plot to just come along and erect a SIP house within a couple of weeks. They're also very good for roofs. This could be roofs as part of a SIP structure or it could be completely separate. It could be that you've got a blockwork external skin and you just want to put on a SIP roof. Again, no problem with that at all. SIPs can be used with any other form of construction. You saw the benefits earlier on with the increased roof space. Mansard roofs, again, SIPs very suitable for this. Garden rooms, garden lodges, garden offices, again, another way of getting a lot of space in a, into a house without having to put an extension on it. Or extensions themselves. SIPs extensions are very quick, they're built off site, which means that if you've got a tight site, they can be easily erected on site. And once they're up, you can be working inside and outside at the same time which means that the, the existing building isn't left exposed for too long. They're very suitable for environmentally friendly builds, cope with stable homes, new values. They tick all the boxes required by the government on that front. They're also very good as use as infill panels. This could be whether it's with a steel frame or with an oak frame, which we've done quite a lot of recently. Again, SIPs can provide a very good infill panel to give you the structure and insulation that you need. Just a few slides on SIPs extensions. This is an example of a SIPs extension that we built in a day. You'll see we'll supply all the same things that we would supply of a new build, the external walls, the roof, the joists, the internal timber partitions, any ridge beams that are needed. And again, we provide a reflective membrane as standard. These are a few technical details of SIPs extensions. On the left there, you'll see it's a very similar detail to our sole plate detail, where the existing wall gets a larger sole plate fixed to it to start off with, and then a slightly thinner sole plate. You'll notice that there's gaps between for the bolts to be fixed through, through the first sole plate into the existing wall. The second image is that same version, but viewed from the top. And you'll see there that the SIPs can just slot over the top of the second plate, and then fix through the sides. This will be fixed with slotted hold, which means that the SIPs can move up and down if needed, getting around any issues with differential movement. And on the right hand side you'll see a lean-to SIP roof going onto an existing wall, where there's a steel angle fixed to the wall, an angled timber fillet put on top of that, and then the SIP roof fixed into that. In terms of approvals, SIPs Eco panels are members of TRADA. We have TRADA QMARC certification. This is effectively our third party accreditation instead of our BDA certificate. 
We chose to go with Trada as these were the top dogs when it came to timber construction. It was a lengthy process to get our Trada Q mark through, but it was well worth it. We've now got a very comprehensive certificate and schedule which can be downloaded from our website. And this is something that we're looking to extend even further so we can do even more with our SIPS panels at present. We're also in the process of getting LABC system approval. However, it may well be that we stop this process simply because SIPS are so accepted now, we don't need the LABC system approval in order to be accepted. We're accepted by all warranty providers and building controllers across the country. We're also very proud to be founder members of the UK SIPS and have a member on the board of the UK SIPS as well. And we're the only SIPS building system in the UK approved by TRIDA, the Timber Research and Development Association. Just a quick summary then. SIPS are an off-site form of manufacture, a modern method of construction with all the benefits that this can provide. Instead of having to put a house together on a wet, dirty site, it will be built in factory conditions, then supplied to site and erected very quickly. A very strong form of construction, which gives you the benefit also that they're a very flexible form of construction in terms of what designs you can get away with. It's a very quick and simple way to build. It's been described by more than one of our customers as a giant 3D jigsaw puzzle. And they come pre-insulated, as mentioned, with the benefits this gives you. It's high quality, consistent insulation, with no sagging or dropping, continuous throughout, and it's also a very airtight form of construction, inherently sits because of the lack of joints in the structure. And they're very energy efficient. You get very good U values out of thin wall thicknesses. And as shown in the earlier photo, increased roof usage, whether this is vaulted ceilings, room in the roof or storage, the increased roof usage is a major benefit nowadays. Just a little slide here to uh, tell you about our website. This is newly launched for SIPS. We've got information on there of case studies of previous builds, technical information with downloads to all our brochures and manuals, frequently asked questions. We've got testimonials from previous builds. We've also got galleries of images of new builds, roofs, extensions, and infill panels, as well as all the latest news. And you can visit our website at www.sips.co. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via our website. I've been Peter Keogh.